the master chem pro first of all i will show you that what i'm going to teach you what is the topic so the topic is 3d programming for milling so the first topic is roughing in in which i will show you that how we can do area roughing and uh, how we can do rest roughing and the next topic is finishing so in this i will teach you water line for wall finishing raster for bottom finishing equal scale that is for uh, floor finishing and uh, horizontal also for flat finishing so these are all the things we will cover in this session so let's start so this is the 3d mold this is cavity so first of all we will create stock model of this drawing so we will go to the toolpath tab here we will select stock model so click on the stock model and here you can define the name of the stock model you can say a uh, rough stock and here you can say select all solid and then okay so this is the stock model right so first we will we will create a roughing program for this area so we will go to the 3d programming and here you will get roughing strategy in which we will use area roughing for huge material removal right so click on the area roughing and then here you will get two parameters in that you have to define machining geometry and if you want to avoid any geometry so you can avoid that from here so we will select machining geometry and here we will select select entities and select all the models and then say okay and here you can leave stock for finishing so we will leave a 0.2 of stock for finishing and 0.1 stock for bottom finishing right so the next one is toolpath control here you can define the boundary chain here we will select containment boundary and then we will select this boundary as a containment boundary right so your tool will not uh, go your tool will not go uh, outside of this boundary so it will create program inside of this boundary only and then say okay so the next one is tool here you can define the tool i will select right click of mouse and then i will select create tool and here we will define bull nose cutter for roughing purpose so as you can see this is the bull nose end mill ready here click click on this and give the diameter of the tool so we will use uh, this profile is actually not so much bigger so we will use a uh, 10 r1 for roughing and then say next here we will give the feed rates we can make it uh, 2000 plunger rate 500 retraction rate 5000 and as spindle speed 2800 and then say finish you can you can customize this feed rates and uh, spindle speed and plunger rate per, as per your as per your tool grade and all and as per your material also and here you can define the holder so this is not so much compulsory uh, but if want you can define from here and you can you can minimize the projection length of this tool so you can see now it is 100 mm so you can make it 50 mm or something and here you could define stock for rest machining we are not doing rest machining but uh, we have to uh, we have to define the stock model first one stock model we have to define in this parameter so here you have to say stock rest material one other operation click on the one other operation and select the stock model which one we have created previously so select on that now it is selected you can see this is grain check grain check and here you can define uh, ignore small cusp so it will it will uh, tool your tool will not go in this area to machine small cusp and all so it will machine uh, machine the rough material first here you can give the uh, stock as per your uh, wall stock and floor stock so you can give it 0.2 0.3 uh, you can make it 0.2 okay so the next one is cut parameter here you have to define the depth of cut i will give 0.2 of depth of cut 0.2 mm and here you have to define xy step over so make it 60% no 55% that's fine okay so you can see uh, this is x y step over means uh, first it will create first pass and then second pass and then third pass fourth pass so like this it will create a uh, uh, passes by using 
uh, 3 mm of step over so this is the 55% of the tool 3 mm uh, th that is minimum and that is uh, this one is maximum so 3 to 5.5 so the next one is transition here you can give a profile ramp so when your tool will plunge in the material so that time it will take uh, this type of ramping ramping motion ramping motion uh, passes so uh, your uh, your tool life will increase okay so here you can define the z clearance so how you, you can define the clearance that uh, suppose uh, this is your z0 so you can you can give it uh, 1 mm above so your tool your tool will start uh, 1 mm above from this face and here you can define the plunge angle so i need plunge angle 1 degree and here you can define the preferred profile length so if the tool is tool diameter is uh, 10 so you can make it 14 so it will it will plunge it will plunge uh, in 14 mm of area so that will be better here you can define the skip forward small than so it means uh, if uh, if if this area is smaller than is uh, smaller than 12 mm and you are using 10 mm of end mill so you can define here uh, don't go in 12 mm of area right so your tool will not plunge in that area it will skip that area and it will machine only the bigger area and the next one is steep and shallow here you can define the minimum and maximum depth suppose this is a z0 so you have to, suppose you have to go from this face to this face so you can define the uh, value from this from this face to this face but uh, this is completely closed profile right there is not any through pocket and all so you can make it close and uh, next one is linking parameter here you can define the clearance plane for safety so you, your tool will retract like this it will take 50 mm of retraction in every process here you can define the minimum vertical retract so you, your tool will not retract every time uh, on the z0 position you can make it uh, you can give 5000 of feed so it will move rapidly from here to here here to here so it will save your uh, retraction time and all and also it will save your uh, machining time it will decrease the cycle time and all here you can give the vertical arc entry for a smooth entry and you can define the vertical arc exit also for a smooth exit and here you can define the arc filter and tolerance for roughing purpose so here I, here I will say a 0, 0.5 0, 5 mm of tolerance for roughing purpose and then say ok so as you can see uh, processing is going on here you can check it view multi threading so it will show you that uh, uh, how much it's done so now we can see i will click on this so this is the complete tool path of roughing right so uh, actually we forgot to check the uh, what is the what is the length and width of this material it is 127 that's fine so we taken i think uh, 10 mm of end mill so that is also good 